Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been working on our vocabulary lessons out of this book here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are working on 16th word that you will see there, and the word is bilateral. I should make it clear that when I made a big fuss about the, the word being the 16th word, these numbers are, are my numbers, uh, they are not in any order because sometimes I introduce words that are not in the book. So uh, don't, don't, don't just ignore this, 16th one. We stopped yesterday, the last word we learned was uh, also a whole bunch of other words that are not in the book here. Number 15 was not in the book. Anyway, the word is bilateral. In the event, since you are preparing for the HESI, and in the event that you are weak in math, if you need help in math, we have already finished doing all the math problem, every single, every single math problem, every single math problem that you will find in this book has been done. There are 50 lessons available at my channel. Just type in HESI math, day 1 through 50. The math on the T's is also very similar to what you will encounter on the HESI and there are 80 videos in that series. There's plenty of material there to get you ready for the math portion. The very first word is bilateral. Bilat bilateral. It's an adjective. What does bilateral mean? Bilateral means exactly what it means. What it says, by, the prefix by, means having to do with, pretending to, or having to do with, having to do with, or pretending to, two parties, having two sides, having Having two sides, having two sides, a bilateral agreement, a bilateral agreement is an agreement that takes place between two parties, two sides, there are two parties are involved, two individuals are involved, two nations are involved, two corporations may be involved, and as long as there are only two, the agreement is said to be bilateral. If there are more than two if there are more than two parties involved in an agreement, then it is termed as multilateral. That means having more than two parties. More than two parties are involved. More than two parties involved. What's the antonym of bilateral? Not multilateral, but bilateral as in just involving one party. The antonym would be, or can we stick it? Unilateral. Unilateral means done just by one party that is involved in something. For example, you might say, you might say to someone, well, we had an agreement. You and I had an agreement. We, we signed a contract. You cannot go around changing the terms of the contract unilaterally. You cannot go around changing the terms of the contract unilaterally on your own without talking to me, without consulting me, without asking my permission. I never agreed to any of this. You change all of this thing unilaterally. It's not on. I'm not going to go for it. It's not on. You cannot go around changing the terms of the contract unilaterally. We had an agreement. Do you understand? Unilateral is the antonym. Let's keep on going. And the ad adverb, just, uh, as we just used, as the adverb, unilaterally. Unilaterally would be the adverb. You cannot change the terms of the contract unilaterally. Number 17.
cardiac car see it has the a sound in it a ah, cardiac car d as you know this is a long e e car d cardiac it's an adjective what does cardiac mean cardiac means having to do with having to do with heart having to do with heart you must keep in mind that these are obviously terms that they expect you to know for HESI and obviously they're going to have to do something with medical field for obvious reasons right having to do with heart cardiac which is why which is why sometimes we hear this term here we hear we hear of someone dying we hear of someone dying of cardiac arrest how is the word arrest used in this context how is the word arrest used in this context you will see that you will notice that no matter how simple the pronunciation might be no matter how simple how straightforward, how easy it might be, I always make a point of writing the pronunciation. Do you understand? Being a non-native speaker of English language, I have learned that if I were to simply go by what the pronunciation may look, may, what the word may seem like, what, may, what the word may look like, I have learned the hard way that you end up making some time full of yourself because you think that it may be pronounced this way, a certain way, because that's what it looks like, but it's pronounced entirely differently. So always make a point of writing the pronunciation no matter how simple it is arrest it has two meanings one meaning one meaning of course we know which is the primary meaning which means to capture someone arrest that man officer he is the one who broke into my house arrest him he was arrested he was captured by the police arrest someone that's not the meaning that is used here a cardiac arrest is so called because the second meaning of the word arrest is to stop. To stop. So a cardiac arrest is so called because the heart stops working, the heart stops functioning. Michael died yesterday. He had a cardiac arrest due to cardiac arrest. His heart stopped working. While we are at the word arrest, let's learn an interesting word. Let's learn an interesting word. This word, of course, is a verb. If you were to take the same word, as I told you before, most of the words, of course, are from the book here. That's where, that's where the list is. That's the whole point here. But once in a while, we'll introduce some words uh, because they are interesting. If you were to take the word arrest, which is a verb, and turn it into an adjective, turn it into an adjective, Arresting. Do you know what it means when you describe something as arresting? You see? Arrest, of course, simply means to capture someone or to stop something. Uh, what does the word arresting mean? The currency, the dollar, has been falling precipitously. I hope the central bank does something, I hope the Federal Reserve does something tomorrow to arrest the fall of the dollar, to stop the fall of the dollar. Do you understand? They must have some policy, they must have some policy to arrest this, to arrest, to arrest this downward trend in the currency. It's been falling too much. They need to arrest it. They need to stop it. What does arresting mean? Arresting means something something that attracts attention something that attracts people's attention or something that is striking something that is striking something that is striking is said to be arresting you might say that you might say that her 
her dress or her or her demeanor or her or even her accent if you like I find her dress I find her dress or her demeanor or her accent or her accent arresting I don't know about you but I find her accent quite arresting I know you didn't like her dress but I thought it was quite arresting I found it striking I found it I found it attractive it, uh, it attracts my attention do you understand yes she looks at rest uh, her dress was arresting her I find her demeanor very arresting what does demeanor mean De demeanor is just a very fancy way of saying demeanor is just a very fair say very fancy way of saying how someone behaves I find her behavior I find her demeanor the way she carries herself quite arresting quite arresting should we keep on going or should I stop let's stop right here I want I don't want to keep on going I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now